to it. First of all, you are running for a third term as mayor of Calgary. Can you walk us through that a little bit, that decision-making process? Was it an easy one to make? No, it was a tough one. Uh, it took a lot of thinking about whether it's time for some new thinking, for some fresh blood, whether it's time for me and my own personal life to maybe get back a little bit of my yeah. personal life. But really there were two things that helped us in this decision. The first is the thing that every politician will always say, and that is there's a lot of work left to do. So when you think about, for example, the Green Line, mm -hmm. the Green Line will be not only the largest public works investment in Calgary's history, it'll be three times larger than the second largest one. Wow. And so it's really important that we get that exactly right. Of course, the economic downturn, we really need to make sure that we are selling the city nationally and internationally in a big way right now. And it's good for me to be able to do that because I've got a running start. Mm -hmm. But there's something else. And I think this is really important. The world feels really uncertain right now. And a lot of people are very nervous about their place. It feels like voices of intolerance and hatred are getting louder and louder. It feels like the voices that want to tear us apart sometimes are prevailing over those that want to bring us together. And I think it's really, really important that we have people in public life who are speaking out for the ability for everyone to enjoy a great life here. That it doesn't matter what you look like or where you came from or how you worship or whom you love, you should have the chance to live a great life right here. And to me, there's a vacuum of those voices. We're hearing different kinds of voices getting louder and louder and louder. You know, I can't believe that a number of leadership candidates for the Conservative Party showed up yesterday mm -hmm. at something that could be described as an anti-Muslim rally shortly after what happened in Quebec City. And so I think it's really important that we keep voices in there that talk about what makes Canada work and what makes Canada work for all Canadians. And I think I've tried hard to do that over the last six years and I want to be able to keep doing that.